Hey guys, here for another video, and uh, occasionally, uh, you know, Shaboy gets some comments from uh, girls that, you know, I review and I get them. They either send me Instagram DMs, they're mad, sometimes they comment under my video, and uh, sometimes I like sharing them because it's just funny. I, I feel like the more angrier there are, uh, it's always the most entertaining things because, again, I'm a small channel. I'm, I'm small fry. They're making millions. I'm making not millions, you know what I'm saying? I, I probably make like what they make in a, what I make in a year, they probably make in a month. So, uh, again, it is what it is, but it's just funny seeing how these people, again, women are typically emotional. Uh, when they see someone talk shit, they're just like, oh my God, how can a person talk shit about me? And in this case, the victim of yesterday was the Amanda Nicole. Honestly, I didn't even remember who the fuck she was. I just saw her and I'm like, okay. Amanda Nicole, okay, I reviewed her. Who the fuck is she? Like, I, I'm telling you, most of these girls are forgettable because they have the same framework. BBL, makeup, fucking veneers, fake tits, and then it's the same shitty OnlyFans. And it's like, uh -huh, I usually forget about these girls. But today, we're going to look at this comment really quick and then just dive right into the other OnlyFans I want to review today. But I always find it funny to share these type of comments. So first, she says, LOL, I expected this review to be worse than an F-. minus." Hating on me just because I don't give my porn away for 10 bucks. Uh, I, if I'm right, I'm just, I think what I said in hers was that it's bad because she has, like, you have to pay to get into her account, and then she doesn't have any rated R stuff in her account, so it's like, what am I paying for? I'm not saying you have to give your porn away for free, but what I am saying is that if you have 100 porn videos, maybe give, I don't know, a week out for free, uh, or one video out every week for free, and I guess that doesn't really hurt your fucking uh, income rate. And to continue, it says, most of the time my OF has free sales. Uh, I don't understand what she means by free sales, or it's like 350 So of course, if you want to see me get fucked, it costs more, LOL. Also commenting on my lack of emotion, you found the video of me that some med spot took of me, sprung on me unexpected while I was there to get my asshole bleached, Jesus Christ. Of course I wasn't excited, lol, I suggest you circle back and reevaluate what I have to offer gimmick wise, you would be surprised. So I get it, she is kind of mad, I, I'm down to review it again, but I like to troll these people, so I just said, I'm not hating, there's only one way to settle this, box me yo, let's get ready to rumble, hashtag WWE, and this isn't the first person, like, there's a Rebecca J Live, she commented in my video a while back ago, and she wanted to box me, yo, I'm down to fight, like, if you guys didn't know, you know, I did wrestling for a lot of years, obviously it's different from boxing, but I just love fighting, I love getting my ass beat, I love beating people's ass, I love a good fight, I love fucking just, you know, just going all out, just using your force to kind of, you know, really take some down, someone down, because you rarely use full power in anything, right? Like, most people are sitting down, most people, when they work out, they jog, they do some light exercise, but to really just, like, fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying, fucking go all out and unleash your energy in a person uh, is pretty fun, and since everyone's doing boxing, I'm like, you know what, fuck it, if there's a hater out there that wants to fucking fight me, or like, I, I would definitely like to box an OnlyFans girl, just because some of these girls are masculine, you'd be surprised, some of them are like, man, I could take a man down, what's up, I'm ready to fight, like I said, ready to rumble, I might throw in a Stone Cold Stunner or a fucking RKO in the middle of it, and uh, you know, all for the memes and all for enter the entertainment. So that being said, let's just get to the person I'm gonna review today. So someone recommended this to me about like a week or two or three weeks. Again, I don't fucking remember. There's so many OnlyFans accounts. And her name is Mama Plugs. Lola Mama Plugs Mason. Uh I'm loving the name. It reminds me of Unplug Fit, Mama Plugs. I'm telling you, these butt plugs are definitely popular in the market. Uh she does have an Instagram 270k followers. Uh right, we get it. it says digital creator, 51 geeky car hobbit. Jesus Christ. That's a little spicy. And then she starts listing all these cars. Okay, she's a car girl. Shout out to fucking cars, Legos, Hot Wheels, and all that shit. Business only. And then she has her link. So, uh, yeah, she she's pretty attractive. I'm not going to lie. I'm not too into white girls. But she got the booty. She got all that. She obviously sexualizes herself. Uh, and she has some, like, actual porn out there. So, I would say this. If you have porn out there in Pornhub or Spank Bang or whatever, and you make an OnlyFans, you better have porn on your base sub, because if you're not, it's like, why am I going to get your, your fucking OnlyFans, right? It just doesn't really make sense. Now, she has a whole bunch of other uh, social media accounts. She does have a TikTok. She does have a Twitter. Twitter is pretty good. Again, she's promoting herself as a porn star. So, again, if she has an OnlyFans, I'm expecting to see her swallow, you know, fucking do the craziest shit. I mean, I'm not telling you that she has to fucking get 20 strap-ons down her throat, but I am expecting... A 
at least some normal standard template porn. So right when we get her OnlyFans, is she said uh, it is twelve dollars fifty cents. She says, "I'm Lola. I'm British. I'm five foot one." Again, shout out to hobbits. Shout out to disabled people. Shout out to midgets. Shout out to the people that need to use a wheelchair to fucking uh, go around. I'm geeky and I love to suck men's soul out of their dick. Okay, you know, awesome. She's a ghost. I love fast cars and anal. That is very. Okay, I mean that's she loves that. I guess I can't I can't judge her for that. I don't do PPV or lock posts. So the moment you subscribe is the moment you see my asshole being pounded. Shout out to that. I always say this: a lot of girls have like check out my OnlyFans, get ready to see the wildest shit ever. And to no surprise, a lot of them do only PPV. They just kind of like okay, you entered. I got your money. If you want to see any, anything else, you have to pay for it. I think that's one of the dumbest models. It's cool if you do a balance of it, but only doing all the good stuff in PPV is just, I don't think, uh, profitable in the long term. And to keep going, says there's a bit of everything here, like boy, girl, solo, double pen, deep throat, strap on, anal, fetish, feet, facials, cream pies, and a million things more. So what are you waiting for? Let's play. Uh, and description, very good. It is what I always uh, say, right? List what you have in your bullet points and whatever you have in your bullet points, just be upfront. Say if it's PPV, say if it's not PPV. In her case, no PPV. In her case, list out what she has on her OnlyFans and more. So again, short and sweet. And obviously if you're curious, like, oh, what product she's offering, she does list it. So description A plus. Now in terms of numbers, there is 2,668 photos and 931 videos. Numbers are kind of insane. She has catalog, that's great. Pictures, you're seeing everything. You're seeing her fucking armpit. You're seeing the middle of her toes. You're seeing her fucking vagina. You're seeing her fucking, like, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but if you have over 2,600 photos of someone, you better know every sing single fucking pimple in her body, every single vein, every single scar. You better know every single fucking, like, hair growth, toenail growth. Like, it's just insane. She has so many pictures. Cool if you want to see news of her. Cool if you want to see all that, you're going to get it. But I always say, pictures just don't really have much value. But if you do want to see that, that is an option. Now for the videos, like I said, she does have 931 videos. I only saw the most recent 106 videos, but I think it is a pretty good sample size and she does upload pretty consistently. I'm not going to lie. She is one of the few OnlyFans that actually puts in a lot of work. I'm glad she doesn't put everything on PPV. I'm glad she's actually putting everything in the base up for people to enjoy. And I'm glad she's consistent. Again, you don't have to post like a fucking movie every day, right? If you post a minute video, a five minute video, 10 minute video every day, that's not hard, right? Like, it's not hard to get fucked. It's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a dude, if I had a girlfriend that did OnlyFans, which will never happen, if she was my girlfriend, that'd be for recreational use only. But I'm fucking her every day, so you might as well fi film it and have fun with it, right? I always say it's not that hard to really film a porno. Now, out of that sample size, the longest video is 44 minutes. Uh, 9 minutes, 7 minutes, 30 seconds, 7 minutes, 30 seconds, 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 7 minutes. And the majority of her videos do fall between the 3 to 5 minute mark, which is great. I always say... You don't, like I said, you don't have to post a fucking Steven Spielberg fucking Gundam CGI video. Just be consistent, post some decent content of you getting fucked, and that's all most guys want to see, right? I think that is a pretty good, uh, I guess, metric of quote-unquote success or a good OnlyFans. Now, in terms of the content, she is actually, like, I saw this and I'm like, I had to shed a tear. I'm like, God bless her. She's actually putting in work. I actually talk shit about OnlyFans, right? Because most of them are bad. In her case, most, you know, her OnlyFans is actually pretty good. She has porn. She has different positions. She has different things. She it has enough variety and content and catalog to really warrant getting the OnlyFans and subscribing to it long term. Now, the only thing I didn't like, again, this is a me thing. I get it. This is like the one little itsy bitsy thing I didn't like. And it's that there's also videos of her, which she did say in the bio, uh, of her fucking her dude. So if you're like, for me, when I was looking at all her videos, I'm like, okay, good. Okay. Doggy style. Okay. She's doing her foot stuff. Okay. She's getting throat fucked. Okay. This is good. Good, 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 good. And then when I'm scrolling to like the 30 something video, it's just her just fucking the shit out of her dude. And I'm like, God bless that. Did take me off surprise. Uh, obviously, she did mention it earlier, but I just didn't think she would be such. She was. She fucked better than her man does, which I guess shocked me. But hey, that is a thing. But the content is pretty much triple X content, and everything that she does say in the bio, she does, and literally more. So again, very good content, very good quality, and very good consistency.
And last but not least in the DMs, uh, it says, Hi, Louise. I hope you're all well. Real respond to all DMs in the morning. Finally caught up with the Easter. Uh, and a lot of new content has been filled and edited. Okay, shout out to editing. Hope you're well and thank you for being so patient. If you're waiting on rating, it'll be done tomorrow. So I'm assuming she does dick ratings. But she is true to her word. She doesn't sell things through the DMs. She does have everything in the base sub. So again, this is one of those OnlyFans that I definitely think... If you're interested in her, you want to see a good OnlyFans, you want to see consistent OnlyFans, a triple X OnlyFans, a porno OnlyFans that actually is worth getting. Hers is actually pretty good, so shout out to her. Again, pat on the fucking back. It's rare that you see a very good OnlyFans. They do exist out there, and I always say girls that have like a smaller following, aka like less than 500,000, typically uh, have a higher chance of putting in more work. I'm not saying that like it's always the case, but there typically is this like grinding stage i'm just gonna do it you know if you compare it to a normal job where you're working eight hours a day you can just do only fans film yourself doing whatever post that shit maybe spend an hour or two a day in it and boom there you go it's just like homework it's really not that hard and if you do want to get a good only fans i would recommend getting hers so like always guys please leave a comment below for any suggestions uh for any only fans request google forms in the description and uh, if any girls are watching this any only fans girls uh, that got some of that clout, and y'all want to box, yo, I, I would love to box a girl, I don't, I, I know it sounds so weird, but it just would be just hilarious, like, for me, it's just the entertainment factor, like, it doesn't even have to be me, like, if I'm in a, watching a boxing match, sure, I can watch Canelo versus Floyd, but it would be fucking hilarious if I just saw, like, a girl just go against Floyd May Mayweather, it would just be kind of, again, entertainment factor, and kind of, I know what's gonna happen, uh, but it just would be kind of funny to see it all, the, uh, you know, all the punches and swing and knockouts for the memes as they say like always guys please leave a comment below for any suggestions uh google form description please hit that like button please hit that sub button and hopefully we can get 20 billion subs by the end of this year and if not i will kill myself later